This is what you look like. A skinny butt twig. All right, here we are. Two months and 4,000 miles I've put on my new 2022 Tesla Model Y. And I wanna share with you the things that I've learned, what I like, what I don't like, and all that stuff. The thing that I am most impressed by is the estimating of range that is used in a trip. It's actually extremely accurate within three, four percent sometimes, and in other cases, no more than 10% off. All right, let me show you where all the cameras are on the exterior of this car and how they work inside. These are pretty cool. I've finally gotten used to them and I use them in my daily self-driving. First, you have cameras here, right? That's right in between the two doors. You've got cameras down here. That's a really great one for when you're using your turn signal. I'll show you that. You go to the back, and obviously you have a camera in the back so you can see reversing. There it is right above the license plate. Same cameras on the other side, of course, here and here. And then you've got your cameras right up front there in the middle. Okay. Another awesome feature is I'm obviously saving money, which I need to because I had to pay for this car. I've calculated it out. I've had it for two months and I am saving about 300 to $350 on gas. All right. And that includes the electricity I'm using to power this thing at home. And when I go to the Tesla superchargers. All right, let's talk about the autopilot and self-driving stuff all right I do not have FSD full self-driving okay so I don't know what that's like so I'm not going to speak about it but I do have autopilot okay and cruise control basically the difference is you know what cruise control is it will stay the speed that you set it and will also stay within the distance of the car in front of you that you set it so autopilot is a little bit different in the way that the wheel will take control for you and it will turn uh, when you know there's a turn in the road but you have to keep your hands on the wheel and that's what I have a problem with it sounds silly and it's a safety feature um, and they should definitely keep that but it's so often you have to keep your hand on the wheel um, you can't really relax it's not just like you're, you're you know relaxing your hand on the wheel and it senses you and whatever you have to like give it a little tug or a little pull um, for it to not tell you to take control of the wheel so it's just it's it's more bothersome for me and that's why I don't use it so often I would say that it's probably used when in traffic and on the highway most otherwise back roads things like that I don't use it the sound system it's amazing I wish I could demonstrate but I cannot because YouTube does not like copyright material just not gonna do it for you unfortunately you just gotta take my word that the sound system is awesome unbelievable I've experienced nothing like it before dog mode is awesome it's actually the reason I got this car I know it sounds silly but let me show you how it works if you have dogs you need a Tesla this is how it works I'm at 76 degrees press that go to dog mode get out of the car and this is what it does it says my driver will be back soon and the temperature is on there. Hi guys. <laughs> so let's talk about those cameras. I showed them to you on the outside of the car. Now let me show you how you can see them on the inside of the car. You press here, you go to dash cam. You can look at the front view. That's what this is. You can go to the left side, the right side, and then also get the rear view. Pretty cool. You can watch these while you're driving down the road as well. So if you're towing something, you can just go to the rear, that's what it's on, and you can watch whatever you're towing. You can also record while you're driving. You just go to dash cam and record. It will record, I think it's like the last 10 minutes. So if you can't figure it out right away, um, it'll record previous minutes and you'll have it on 
camera. These are the same views that you see on your app when you have Sentry mode enabled. Same deal, there is a little bit of a lag, but you can see the same views. There's something else you need to know about the outlets in this car, okay? There's no regular outlet or standard reciprocal NEMA 15, I think they call it. All you're going to get in this car is, well, I'll show you. You've got two plugs in here. Pardon my mess. Right down there. You've got two plugs back here. There's also one in here. And you've got this one here. So maybe you saw my video about the inspection I had on the car. In my state, I have to get an inspection sticker, which means I have to take it to a mechanic to inspect the vehicle. I asked him while I was there, what's different about this electric car than an emissions type of vehicle? And he said, well, everything's really the same, except you obviously don't have emissions, right? No engine. So that emissions area of the inspection just requires him to check and see if the air conditioner works and that is it that's great and all but shouldn't they be expecting like the battery or something in some sort of way I mean what if it's faulty what if there's an issue I really I don't know that seems weird to me that the battery could like blow up or something could be wrong with it right so nobody's checking that that's not a safety thing we should worry about I don't know just something to think about let me show you some other cool features that I actually really do like about the car and use often as well. This is where I now charge my phone. You just place it here and it starts to charge. <laughs> but it's upside down. But it's upside down. Passenger can put theirs there too. Hey look, I have a passenger. Does it work? It works, just takes a second. So I like that. Other people that ride with me like it too. Remember we talked about dog mode? Well, they also have camp mode. You can check out a previous video where I went camping in my Tesla. This is what it'll do when you put it in camp mode. It just comes on the screen and then will actually turn black after a little while. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes or something. Camp mode is great because it will keep the temperature, whatever you set it, in the car and also the receptacles will work so you can charge your phone and such. If you have internet connection, you can also watch a Netflix movie, which we have enjoyed. So hot in the summertime, have an AC is awesome to have in the car for you to sleep in. There are also beds and things they make that you can blow up and sleep on in the back, which make it much more comfortable. I actually have one that I'll be putting to the test this next week and we'll be getting you a full review soon. I am finally going to show you the details of the inside of the car now. All the little bits. All right, welcome to my Tesla. This is the passenger side, obviously. I love this little trash can here. I got this off Amazon. I also have one on the driver's side. It's really actually pretty handy. This is the glove box. There's no button to open it. You have to go into the screen, press a button, then press another button, this one right here, and it will open. Great little safety, whatever feature, but uh, it's annoying. This here glides right open and glides right closed. Nice storage. Here, nice deep dark hole storage as well. You can put a lot of junk in there. Love that cup holder if you didn't see it. Got that on Amazon too. This here on the passenger side, you can obviously electrically go up, forward, back, front, whatever. Same as the other side, um, except it doesn't have like lumbar support. As you can see, these are the visors and a nice little light there. Still haven't taken the plastic off for it, but hey, trying to keep things nice as long as I can. All right, um, I guess I'll bring you to the back seat now. But hey, look at the look at the roof. I actually don't even notice that roof above my head so often that it's all glass. Um, back seat, let me show you the plugs right here. That's where you can plug in your phone if you want. The vents actually move manually, super easy. Uh, that's a trash can there that I also recommend having. You can manually put the seats down just like this here. I'll show you once we get to the back how you can 
um, press a button and they'll go down as well but I think you can see or really get a good feel for the ceiling in the back when you're sitting in the back more so than when you're sitting in the front look at the storage below you can actually get these little cubbies bins to put there to pull out and put storage stuff in I want to get those just haven't yet all right so the back check it out there is so much room right here when you open it I actually got this cooler in here that I am going to review here pretty soon I just really want to get a good feel for it first it plugs in right over there um, but I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend this it's pretty awesome that right there is just uh, the extra charging cables there to convert if I need to. And then there's these big cubbies on the side. Great amount of space. Uh, there's even more space here when you peel this back. Right, so you can see I flipped it over here. And then this is the extra space you have under there. I actually have never used it, to be honest with you. Here's how you can put down the back seats as well. These two buttons here. You get this one, and then you have this one. Another great feature I'll show you right quick about the back seats is this. So this is the other feature here. As you can see, you can put these up manually. You just push them up, and then there's this button here that will release the center piece, and only it will be down. So I like this personally because I can put a dog in a crate in the back and face them forward and then they could still kind of be part of the family and see and also see the road, you know? This is the space in the back of the car where that plug is I was showing you, which is feeding underneath here to where the cooler currently is. About this cooler, I've got a lot of really great things to say about it. That's going to be coming soon, but please do not go rush off and buy it now on Amazon because I have a coupon for you that you can get it somewhere cheaper. I'll post that below. So the question is, do I like this car? The answer is, I love this car. I love pretty much every single thing about it so far. Remember, I still have to experience the winter in the car. So how it operates in the snow is really going to make like a big deal for me. And one other thing, you might be wondering, phantom braking, is that something that I've experienced in these 4,000 miles that I've driven? Yes, one time in 4,000 miles, driving down the highway and she just brake checks me, okay? If that happened in the middle of winter in a snowstorm, not good. That would not be good. Not, not good. <laughs> so I probably will not be using that feature in the winter time. Nor do I think it will even work because it's got to be able to see the lines in the road, the white and yellow, to know what to stay between. And well, it's only going to be able to see snow. 